kids today don't realize how bad we had it. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You just get porn like that. Yeah. To work for it. I worked in a collections call center. Mm. And after a while, things got repetitive. Mm. I had a bingo. I made myself a bingo card <laughs> of all the things people would say to me in a mm. day. And then mm. someone called me a concrete head and I went off. Like, I was like, yep. Yeah, I'm going to give you an extension on your bill because that was creative. Thank you very much. Yeah. Because it was like, show this, like, is it was a cell phone company? Show this phone up your ass. Check. You're taking, <laughs> you're taking food out of my children's mouths. Check. That one, that one pissed me off the most because it was a collections call center for a cell phone company at a time when cell phones were absolutely a luxury. It wasn't like today. Mm. Nobody had a cell phone. You were paying 95 cents a minute to Whoa. talk on the phone so if you and your phone was the size of a brick so if you yeah. had a phone you had to have been able to pay for it so when mm. people were like you're making ten dollar phone calls every day multiple mm. times a day and then you're mm. saying i'm taking food out of your kids mouths yeah, yeah i'm not the one. doing it to yourself <laughs> yeah i wasn't the one making these phone calls you know what's hilarious though is that mm. at the time when they had like sex numbers like the mm. nine seven six is what we used to call them mm. The way that those often work is that they would bounce the call off of multiple cell phone towers. So you okay. think you're paying two ninety five a minute, but you're actually paying like ten dollars a minute because the way it pings around the world. So these eighteen year old kids would get a phone. They would rack up ten thousand dollars in a month, and then they would be on the phone with me, be like, "Please don't tell my mom. Please don't tell my mom." <laughs> Sobbing, yeah. Sobbing. I was like, "You wanted to pee pee vomit." So yeah. <laughs> what happens so what when you make your pee pee sick exactly go to the internet like everybody else does it's going to take you because it was dial up it's going to take you 30 minutes to download yeah. one photo but can you imagine but the anticipation I, I i don't need to imagine it i lived it chris yeah oh, so i lived it, it. <laughs> like, yeah nearly there nearly there <laughs> That's not how it looks in my house. Uh, but <laughs> but anyway, like, you know, you start a picture. It's like, fuck, by the time this is done, people are going to be home from work. I don't have time for them. Yeah. <laughs> Someone had the audacity to pick up the phone hmm. while you're... <laughs> Terrible. Kids today don't realize how bad we had it. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You just get porn like that yeah. to work for it. Was it Jim Jeffries uh, in one of his specials? He was talking about how he found some porn magazines, and so he um, uh, to keep so his parents wouldn't find them. He buried them in a field under a tree, and then he would go off this on this little hike to his his, his wank tree. His stash, and then, yeah, dig out his porn stash, fat furiously, and then bury it again. But like, how how nosy were his parents, or how much Gosh. how invasive were his parents that he couldn't even just keep it in a box under his bed like my brother did? <laughs> That's how I found his. I I mean, I did make a TikTok about this a while ago about finding my mm. brother's mm. whole collection and stash. <laughs> but like at the time, they used to we had like movie channels, and mm. if you didn't subscribe to them, mm. they were just like these squiggly lines, right? Oh yeah, and so. In the middle of the night, they would play porn movies. And if, like, if you were really lucky, <laughs> if, if Santa was good to you, mm. you would get a good view between the squiggly lines <laughs> <laughs> before it got all wonky again. <laughs> uh, there was the crosses um, we bared. Uh, my, you what? What? As of the crosses we bared. <laughs> 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 there was a bit made it like really awkward to flick your bean to though, like try, trying to follow the. <laughs> it's where Gen Xers had to learn to use their imaginations. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I've lost that function. I think. <laughs> I think that's uh, see. I think that's why people now are gotten mentally lazy because back yeah. in the day, we had to use our imagination and we had to mm. you had to tell a story. This one kills me when people are are uh, comment on my storytelling skills. Mm. which I very much appreciate, uh, mm. but it's also like, I didn't have a choice because yeah. I, I couldn't just videotape shit and be like, watch the video. I had to, mm. I had to bring it to life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Breathe life into it. But exactly. that's, the, that's the thing. Uh, like when I was uh, a teenager and like, 
part of it was because I didn't have any money, but the other part it was just I wasn't interested in buying porn or like buying even any of those um like different magazines like FHM or Playboy and all that. Like it just it never occurred to me to do what some of these other boys were doing. Mm-hmm. And, and it's like, well, I I've got a brain. I just use my brain. Um <laughs> You know? You've got your imagine. There's yeah. I'm about to start singing the Willy Wonka song. In the world <laughs> of pure imagination. Yeah. And your cable's got all the squiggly lines. <laughs> you, there, there was one time, though, um, my stepdad had uh, cable. And uh, we, we didn't live with him. But one time, uh, I was staying at his for the weekends. And like, cause, and then he was out at work. And I was just channel hopping. It was like the middle of the day. Came across some random German channel. And there was um, a woman wearing, like, hardly anything, dressed up like a donkey, and then was making out with another woman dressed up like a donkey. And they... What? Yeah, yeah. It was really weird. And it was literally the middle of the day. Odd. The, mm. So we had a channel here that used to play what they call, like, blue movies at midnight. Mm. So kind of, like, very soft core. Mm. You wouldn't see any penetration. It was always like hair was in the way and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. So one night, my sister and I are like just watching, we're flipping the channels, watching TV. This is when I was like a teenager. And mm. we see in the TV guide, Flash mm. Gordon. Mm. So we're like, oh, we'll watch Flash Gordon. So we're watching it for a few. And like, we thought it was Flash. We, that's what we read, Flash Gordon. Mm. So we're watching it for a few minutes and there's talks of like sex robots and other stuff. And we're like, what the fuck is this? So then we go back to the TV guide channel and we're like, oh, it's Flesh Gordon, not Flash Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, let's watch something else. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose it'd be a bit that awkward. That awkward moment when you realize you're watching porn with your sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, I never had that experience, so. Now they make movies about it. Watch yeah, these yeah. two stepsisters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with the increase in incest porn? Yeah. Stepmother, really stepbrother, like step... Like, it's... Mm. Mm. It's icky. Mm. It is very icky. Mm. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I've i got a stepfather. He had a girlfriend that I guess is kind of my stepmother, but... It's not something that ever crossed my mind, I'll have to say. You never banged her? <laughs> just the once, just the once, you know. <laughs> it's for science. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to see, you know, what the fuss was about. 